y'all, what's up, Snuggly Babies? It's your girl, Jiggy G, and today I am rocking the Walmart plaids out, just chilling around the house. You know what I'm saying? You just have that shit that you just throw up. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Clap my booty cheeks, booty cheeks. Clap my booty cheeks, booty cheeks. Clap my booty cheeks, booty cheeks. Clap, 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 clap. Shout out to everybody that been streaming my booty cheeks. Snuggly Babies. Speaking of this plaid, it remind me of the lumberjackers. Yo, if y'all from Brooklyn, y'all from New York, y'all know what I'm talking about in the 80s when we used to rock the lumberjack with the hat to match. I remember I was dating this Cuban and Jamaican motherfucker name. Well, I ain't gonna say his name, but he was Cuban and Jamaican. And I met him over there by MC Lights Record Company over on um Nostrand and, and St. John's Place. Anyhow... And we used to shoot pool over there in, in this spot. And, you know, while I was a shorty, I had my little summer job in McDonald's. And I met I met this nigga. And he was Cuban and Jamaican. And, <laughs> you know, growing up with the niggas in the hood, the niggas in the hood do hood shit. And the nigga had the name in the hood called the Locksmith. Because he used to have this big ass key ring with all these keys. And this nigga just used to be running the crib, snatching all their silver and gold. And he used to be giving me chains and little bracelets and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was a shorty. Oh, you know, was a That's what you did. And when you growing up in the hood, you did hood shit. But anyhow, the nigga was called the locksmith. That's what they was calling the nigga. There wasn't a lock that this nigga could not open up. This nigga was crazy as fuck. So when I met my son's dad, I decided, yo, I'ma lead this motherfucker. I'ma lead him. <laughs> that nigga was not having it. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> that young, that young, that young Gucci was sweet and juicy. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't gonna give it up. Hood niggas do hood shit. So I'm leaving my McDonald's job and shit. And you know, I didn't have, you know, I didn't have too much money. It was my first check. I think I was like 15 or some shit like that. I just left 14, turned into 15. And I had me a fake ass bag with bees all over it. And my homegirl, D, yo, D, if you watching this, do you remember? They used to be, yo, Jiggy G coming through with that Bucci bag. She got that Bucci. Yo, motherfuckers used to have jokes on me, you know what I'm saying? I was a shorty, but I still was Jiggy, even back then. But anyhow, I'm walking down New York Avenue, the spot where everybody used to get robbed at in Brooklyn. And I got my Bucci bag, and, you know, I got off my McDonald's, and I had, like, a couple of cheeseburgers, Big Macs, fries, apple pies, all of that for all my girls back in the hood, because I was going to go back to Park Place in Nostrand, go upstairs to the crib, we was going to roll up some blizz, I'm saying, we was going to blaze, and then I had the munchies in my Bucci bag. I'm chilling with my Bucci, I think I'm about, like, maybe a buck ten or a buck oh seven back then, skinny jiggy, skinny jiggy, I ain't had... I ain't had all of this woman. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had all this womanish all over me. But anyhow, I'm walking and all of a sudden, a nigga just run up on me, snatch my motherfucking bag, throw me to the ground. I'm laid out like, oh shit, nigga got my Bucci bag with all my Mickey D's in it. What the fuck? So I go back and shit, I scraped up my knees, I go back to the crib limping, bitches laughing at me and shit, because you know the hood ain't got no sympathy, the hood is like, bitch, you fall down, get the fuck up, and it's a new motherfucking day out this bitch, what we doing today? But anyhow, I go back, they like, yo, what the fuck happened to you, bitch? I was like, yo, I just need to blaze right now. Niggas just snatched my motherfucking bag. I had all the McDonald's in it. They was like, they took your Bucci bag, bitch. Ah! So bitches was laughing. I was upset. So anyhow, I see the nigga in the hood that I broke up with, Jamaican Cuban nigga. And he like, yo, I got your bag, boo. And I'm like, yo, this the nigga, this nigga set me up just so he, he had, this nigga literally had a nigga rob me to take my bag so he could give me my bag back so I can be around him. So anyhow, the nigga gave me back my motherfucking bag. He was like, yo, I got your bag. I don't got on me now, but meet me over here by this spot at such and such time. I'm going to give you back your bag. So I'm like. I 
link up, I walk up and shit, and I meet up with the nigga. As soon as I go to get my bag, yo, the nigga just snatched me up. Bow! Because you know a bitch, a bitch was skinny. A bitch was out there looking like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Out this bitch. Nigga snatched me up, dragged me in his house. I'm like, no! Ow! Nigga dragged me in, in the house. Nigga, like, smashed me for fucking five days straight. Had a bitch tied up in his room. Put gat tie in my mouth. Like a nigga literally kidnapped me, yo. And his mama found out. Was like, let the girl go. What y'all doing? Why y'all doing? Raise you better than that. Nigga was slapping me up. Nigga was pinching me. Yo, the nigga was doing all type of stupid shit. Let me go. My friends was like, yo, bitch, where you been? He was worried about you. I was like, yo, yo, I get Cuban motherfucking Jamaican. Yo, snatch me up. The nigga, I thought I was getting my Gucci bag back. They was like, bitch, fuck that Gucci bag. That shit wasn't even Gucci. Why you even went back? Why you even gave a fuck? But, um, yeah, y'all. So I just wanted to share, um, that little story with y'all, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna be sharing some more stories, but I figured, you know, I just share a little bit, you know, a little bit of throwback um history from the 80s, you know, from my from my youth. From my youth.